Hey, how you doing there again, folks? Megan, of course, Brady Wenzel. Come back at you. Another offering off my sampler platter. <sighs> yes, indeed, folks. Sampler Platter View, Series V's, I've been doing for a little while. I go over there, try out food and drink items. I eat stuff, I drink stuff, then, folks, I'm going to talk about the stuff. I'm going to let you know all that you need to know about hopefully delicious stuff that, time I'm doing this, folks, I'm not going to lie. I just needed to finally review this. I've had it for probably a couple months, but we'll get to that. Folks, it's super simple format. I'm going to go over there. I'm going to try out food and or drink items for you. Whilst I'm doing so, I'm yammer on about it for a bit. Whilst I'm doing all that, I'm inside my truck. And whilst I'm doing all that, folks, I'm wearing grody work clothes. Typically, when I'm inside the truck and I'm wearing grody work clothes, that means I was on my way home from work and I found some shit to review for you. Yeah. That is clearly not the case in this instance, though I may have bought it while going home from work. That's possible. Uh, but no, like I said, I've had this, it's been in my fridge for a little bit. Uh, if you watch, you know, the show that I do for long enough, you know, you already know. It's like, I buy these things in advance to do reviews, and then the other things get in the way, and, you know, so I end up with a fridge full of stuff and a pantry full of stuff, and I just try to get it in where I can get it in. So I was actually almost going to review something else, but I was like, no, I only got that, like, about, you know, a week ago. This I need to get in. What is it? What am I reading for you every day, folks? What happens to be? Boom! It is from Positive Energy, I guess. Positive Energy, Zero Sugar, Poppin' Orange, Immunity Boosting Energy. No artificial colors or flavors or any of that nonsense. It is keto-friendly, zero sugar, gluten-free, non-GMO. Uh, apparently, it's 160 milligrams of natural caffeine, so not as much as some, but still a decent amount. Um... It's one and three quarters cups of coffee. Uh, not recommended for children, all that stuff. So, yeah, I mean, I guess, oh, it's got a little thing. Simply beneficial. Energy from sugar-free green tea extract and vitamin B12. Vitamin C and zinc are thought to support healthy immune system. Notice how they say <laughs> they're thought to do those things. Yeah, this is one of those energy drinks that's, like, trying to be, like, on the fringes of, like, oh, it's healthy? But if it isn't... We didn't say it was. Sure. I don't even remember why I bought this, but I was like, eh, screw it. Plus, it's, you know, like Dream School flavored. So, let's get a, a thing for the thing that looks like this. Ha 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 ha. Let's give it a go. I could use a little boost. I just got off of work, so. Not a bad night at work. It was a little bit rough for me just because one of our guys didn't show up, and then they didn't tell me that he wasn't going to show up, even though they knew he wasn't going to. And they're like, oh, you're going to do his job today. I was like, okay, why didn't, if we knew this in advance, why didn't we tell me yesterday so that I could just go straight to his station and, anyway. Yeah, it smells kind of like a, like an orange dream school, so let's give it a go. Yeah, okay. Ooh, okay. I was wondering how they were going to implement the zero sugar aspect with the orange dream school flavor. Because my guess is they, pr I'm, I'm guessing they flavor, they sweeten it with sucralose. Let's see if I'm right. Uh, no, no, no. I am, I am incorrect. To be fair, they use stevia and monk fruit blend. So, okay, okay. Here's the thing, though. Whether it's stevia or sucralose or you know aspartame or whatever, the fact of the matter is, these sweeteners simply don't taste quite like sugar. You know. And if you're not used to them as, like, a regular thing, there's going to be something a little bit off. So a lot of these, uh, especially energy drinks that like to use zero sugar, you know, different sugar uh, replacements, one of the ways that they get around that is by using flavors that are very bold that can kind of mask that zero sugar flavor. And in particular, they like to use tart flavors. And that's what they did with this, but... So, the thing is, when you think of, like, an Orange Dream School, you know, it's a perfect blend of, you know, somewhat, you know, it's sweet on both ends, but it's the nice, you know, it's the orange and the cream, so you got the nice, smooth creaminess, and then, you know, you've got the somewhat acidic, you know, kind of citrusy uh, from the tanginess from the orange. What they did was they amped up the tanginess from the orange. That's exactly what they did. And initially, my response was, oh, Okay, all right, I see what you're doing there. 
But then it kept going for some reason, and I was like, hmm, that's way too much. I don't know that I'm okay with that end of things. But let's give it another drink. Yeah. That tanginess just, that, the tanginess for me is too tart, and it lasts for too long. And it gets to a point where it's like, it gets to a point where all of the other nice elements about it, like, again, because it's not like, you know, super sweet or anything, but credit where it's due. It does taste pretty reminiscent of, you know, like, an orange dream school or cream school or whatever the hell you want to call it. One of those, it tastes pretty similar at the beginning. Problem is, again, by the end, it really is just the remnants of that tartness. And because it's too tart, not only does it throw the ratio off, you know, just between that creaminess and, you know, again, just the tartness, uh, it, it really does just linger to a point where, at least for my taste buds, it's like, mm, I don't think I like this very much. The initial flavor, pretty nice. Even willing to give it that, like, initial hit of the extra tartness was like, okay, you know, I, I can see what they're going for with it. But the fact that they let it linger for so long, you know, this isn't a fucking cranberry song. If it was, you know, consider me a zombie, I guess, because I'm dead from flavor? I don't know. That was a stupid-ass joke. Still makes me sad to think about the fact that lead singer passed away so young. Um, yeah, I mean, it's not bad for what it is. Like, even though I don't like the tartness that much, it's, it's live-withable, you know? I've had way worse energy drinks than this. Um, I wouldn't even say this is a bad energy drink, honestly. It's pretty okay. I, I'd be willing to go over there, if I'm grading it, you know, it's somewhere between a C and a C+. Plus. Like, I'm not fully willing to go over there and commit to the C+, plus, but... Maybe if it comes in, does a little extra credit, or, you know, maybe we can get it there. But, as is, C to C plus range. Not bad, but... And honestly, the rest of the drinking experience is pretty nice. And the only thing about it that I'm not a big fan of is, uh, again, it's just that, that extra level of tartness. I just don't like that. Um, to the extent that they went with it. The rest of it is perfectly fine, though. But, two questions have to be asked. Would I get it again? Would I recommend it? Maybe on rare occasion, and sure. I think for me personally, you know, especially with these, like, alternative energy drinks that are, again, trying to be more sort of health-oriented, I'm not opposed to them or anything like that, and I think some of them are pretty damn good. Um, and even this one, again, I would say not a bad drink at all. Um... But I think the problem, for me personally, the problem is, is that I don't give a shit about that. I, you know, I, I, if I want an energy drink, I want something that's cranked up with caffeine, that's, you know, going to hopefully taste at least somewhat good, that it's going to be able to get me through a, you know, long night at work, or a you know, long trip on the road, or something like that. That's what I'm really there for. Any of the extra shit, eh, you know, it's nice if it's there, but if you could put it in a monster, I'd just drink it in the monster, as long as it tasted okay. Um... But I will say, for the effort that clearly went into this, I would be, maybe on occasion, be willing to pick one of these up. Like, my guess is when I got this, because again, I just don't remember, my guess is I probably got this on uh, on a late trek, you know, when I was probably, like, heading back from a friend's house, or uh, maybe a concert or some shit, and a lot of times I'll just pop in at random gas stations in the area to see what they have, and it's where I find a lot of my shit to review. Um... I could imagine this being one of those things. And if I ran into it again, maybe. If I'm recommending it, though, sure. Because at the end of the day, it's not bad. I think this is one of those things where, try it. Because there's nothing terrible about it. It's overall a pretty good drink. It does a pretty good job of emulating what it's trying, you know, what's presenting itself as. And then again, it also has, you know, the, the, again, the supposed extra shit. You know, so if that matters to you, then there you go. It really is one of those things where, for me, it's not exactly to my taste, but at the same time, it's nothing uh, reprehensible, nothing that, you know, I'm not willing to at least entertain to some extent. So it's hard for me to be like, burr, 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 or burr, 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 one way or the other on it. It really is one of those things, like, it's a pretty good drink. 
I don't know if it'll be your favorite energy drink in the world, but give it a shot. At the very least, it's worth a one-off. That's what it is probably for me. Five things before I get out of here. Have yourself a great rest of your day, spectacular rest of your week, monumental rest of your month, stupendous rest of your year. Folks, go over there, have yourselves a truly Orange Dream School fantastic rest of your life. Because, oh man, an orange. I haven't had like a legit Orange Dream School in I don't know how long, man. And the thing is, I think about buying them, but then it's like, then ah, I've just got ice cream in the house and I'm not even reviewing it or anything. Trust me, a lot of what I keep in, not in my house, but you know, just a lot of the things that I sort of incorporate into my overall eating schedule i do try to incorporate into things that i can review that way i get you know kind of a double end of things if i ever get to a point where like i can make this into a semi business or whatever start writing this shit off i guess i don't know, I don't know dick about taxes i just hand my shit over to h and r block or turbo tax i don't know anyway final two things number one try to bring some positivity into the world it's not always possible it is however always appreciated but well, you do if you can't do it all the time. I know I can't do it all the time. Here's what you're going to do, folks. You're going to try not to be an asshole. Folks, not always the easiest thing in the world to not be an asshole. Trust me. I know it. I live it. I'm out there every day with you in it. Life can be stressful and frustrating and just bullshit sometimes, folks. And when we find ourselves in situations where we have to deal with said bullshit, it's important we go over there whenever possible. Take a step back. Try to mitigate the level of assholishness in our lives. Hopefully, do better for ourselves. And for those around us. Very final thing, folks, do the thing. Whatever the thing is for you, that's what I want you to go out and do. Folks, what was your favorite ice cream from the ice cream truck? Growing up, you know? To be fair, and, you know, I don't know how every other country does it or whatever, you know, but, man, oh, man, you know, come summer. For me personally, it, when, it, when it came out, it was the Great White Popsicle. That thing was the fucking best. Had kind of a lemon flavor, and I remember, like, I was there, man, when they first brought that out, and, like, it was all the fucking buzz around my little, you know, little group of childhood friends. Oh, man, it cost a little bit more. It was worth it. You, you would gladly pay that extra quarter to get yourself the great life. But, you know, lots of really good ones. I'd be really interested to hear what your personal opinion are. Bye.